good morning the students of class 6 today i am going to discuss the first chapter of your civics book and i am revising that chapter actually and what is the name of the chapter and it is the name of the chapter is understanding diversity i have already discussed in this chapter that there is a story in your book and what is the meaning of diversity that diversity means when different different people and people from different backgrounds in live at one place that is and creates a very a variety and these things are called diversity so diversity in india it is the first sub unit and in this sub unit it is mentioned that india is a country with many diversity so means people are different than each other in many ways and these differences enrich our lives many ways and also make them more interesting that our lives are more interesting because in india people from different backgrounds live here people from different backgrounds live here such as and the differences are their religious differences their cultural differences the difference in their language their food habit their clothing their religion and philosophical thinking etc though all these people live together with harmony in india why it is happened because people from all kinds of religions and culture help to make india so diverse so because when different people from different different backgrounds live together then it creates our life more interesting it's never be boring so always we have lot of options from different cultures so we can take those cultures different food habits and clothing as uh to change our the change the taste of life little bit so in this way a diversity add to our life when it is very useful for us so now in the another story is given that and making friends the two friends are there we have seen in the story that in the first class there two student two boys one boy is newspaper seller on the road and another one is a school goer in on the bicycle so when they uh, met in a traffic signal or incidentally when the uh, newspaper seller boy wants to sell uh, wanted to sell a newspaper to the boy riding on the cycle and there's a conversation between them and slowly they became friend Three to four days, they met each other at the traffic signal, and they converse with each other. And in this way, the, our friendship was created between them. But uh, what happened? That though those both the students, both the boys, are totally different than each other. In which ways that, as per the story, Sami Lek and Sami Do, they both are more comfortable in separate languages. First, the medium. which they used to communicate with each other that is the language but they are more comfortable in different languages but they still communicate with each other a language was not a barrier for them to communicate with each other it means they have the curiosity for each other and they communicate with each other learn lot of things and uh, and about those things which they were never aware about so in this way we have seen in the story how to boys communicate and they figured out figured out what are the differences present in their life and mind also so what are the differences now we'll discuss one by one okay now what are the difference between samir ek and samito so look at the board the number one samir ek comfortable in english and another side the first we have already mentioned that the uh, there the language barriers were there between the two boys but though they communicate they successful to communicate with each other and in the samit do number 2 that samit do does not comfortable in english he comfortable in hindi samir ek also no hindi but samit do more comfortable in hindi so and samir ek number 2 he belongs to rich family Samir ek belongs to a rich family no financial problem at least and Samir do belongs to a poor family he was out from his home to selling newspaper for selling newspaper 
and in the Samir Ek three, that's studying in school. Samir Ek studying in school. Then Samir do number three uh, selling newspaper on the street. That due to despite of the poor condition, he never went to school. So he selling newspaper to her uh, help his mother and to improve his financial condition of his family. To improve the financial conditions of his family. Samirek in the religious sect case, the uh, Samirek also Hindu and Samir though belongs to a Muslim family, raised, born and brought up in a Muslim family. Other differences also like uh, Samir Ek lived in a city like in a in suppose in Delhi and Samir though lived in Merat. So the places also different. So in this way, their uh, place of living, their occupations and uh, their family backgrounds, their financial condition, their languages and religion, all the things are different. But though the both are the citizen of India, both are living in India and with their different backgrounds. So this is diversity, but and uh, in the similar way, they also successful to communicate with each other and this is called diversity and when they communicate with each other they know lot of things their children they don't know what is going on outside but when they communicate with each other whatever they have seen in their life they share the stories and in this way they learn lot of things about the their societies different societies and in this way all the people of our country also can communicate with each other and they can share their problems with each other despite different financial condition different uh, educational backgrounds different occupation language religion their culture etc that's why the india called in india it is called unity in diversity perhaps you have noticed that in our society some people don't have to something to eat, don't have clothes to wear, or don't have money to make their houses. So, and uh, most lot of people, they are not got, they are not got the opportunity to go to school. Okay, so these things are not same as we have read in the Samir Ek and Samir Do story, and these differences are not called diversity. These differences are actually called inequality. So what is inequality that when a person does not have the resources and opportunities that are available to other persons that is called inequality an example is caste system economic inequality in our Indian society. So what is caste system first you have to know that in long ago our society was divided into different occupations into four major communities one community is busy on the education and giving uh, the teaching teaching and worshiping the god they are brahman the next community that is kshatriya those are busy on the administering the country they are they were kings they are warriors they protect our country number 3 the traders the business persons and the farmers and artisans they were belong to the Vaishya community and the last one that is the laborers agricultural laborers artisanal laborers and all the laborers and uh, the sweepers all these things all these people and called Shudra so in this way the uh, society was divided into many groups and the people as per the society the people had to follow their own occupation through generations they cannot change their occupation by their will and this system also continues in today's life in some cases if uh, so suppose if your father if your parents are potter then you are not eligible to learn something new except the pottery because the other subjects and other things are not necessary for you except your own work, it's except your own ancestral work that is 
pottery so you uh, it is necessary to you to know only the work of a potter how to make the uh, the pots and pans with clay so nothing else so this system is called cast system so if that person if you wants to be a engineer if someone a potter sir wants to be a engineer doctor he cannot read those so in this way they were discriminated by the society these things also the example of inequality i hope you have understood the what is inequality but today society has changed so much so this type of incidents are very few in today's society we are improving day by day to eradicate all the bad prejudices and customs and all this and to accept the good customs of our ancient society so that's all from today's class hope you have understood this sub unit that introduction of the understanding diversity and making friends so next class we'll discuss with another sub unit what diversity adds to our life till then don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching